Okay, here's something that I came across today. My, my, my wife wanted to get a copy of this little crochet instructions for creating these crocheted bears. Now we created an account and we logged in. It was free to create an account and log in and we can see all the instructions. My wife can just follow along on this web page. But uh, let's say we wanted to print this or have a PDF that we could save. Now you might go, Chris, there's a button right on the screen that says download PDF. There's also one up at the top of the page here that says download PDF. But if you click on that, it actually just brings you to a website where they try to sell you stuff. We just want to be able to print or have a PDF of this page. And so you go, okay, control P to print and I'll save to PDF. Let me click on the page, control P and then print to PDF. But you'll notice in the preview here that all the instructions and images are missing. It won't let you print them. That's not an issue. This is just a CSS option. And since this is uh, HTML with CSS in a web browser, we can modify that. So we're gonna open up the developers tab in a Chromium based a browser, Chrome, Brave, which is what I'm in, Chromium, um, or Chrome, it's gonna be F12. I think it's a little bit different in Firefox, I don't remember the keys, but F12 in most browsers will open up the developer console. We can click over here where it says elements. So make sure you're in elements and it shows you all the elements of the page. Within here, we're gonna click, we're gonna hit Control F to search and I'm just gonna type in print. And you'll see the first thing on the page and depending on the web page, it may not be the first one that comes up, but we have, okay, media print. This is what we're gonna do when we're printing for any item that has, in this case, class of inside article or legal notice, uh, you'll see that uh, inside article, it's set to none, and the legal notice is set to inline. So it displays that when you go to print instead of the actual uh, instructions. So what do we do? How do we get this so that we can view it when printing? Well, we're just gonna right click in this CSS here and click delete for that element. And it might, again, be slightly different on different pages, but you're gonna look for something like that in CSS, some print, a media print option. And then we click back on the page, and now if I hit Control P, now that we've removed those instructions to hide um, the article from printable view, it takes a moment because it's loading up more stuff, but now you can see I can print or save the PDF for this page. And that's it. Again, it's gonna be slightly different on each page, but you're gonna look for that media print option within CSS in most cases. And if you just remove it or modify it, you'll be able to print what you wanna print. So thanks for watching, filmsbychris.com. Hope you found this useful. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.